uh, the flag bearer of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama, has uh, been posing some questions to the flag bearer of the NPP, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. This is coming up next here on your election command center. And it's captioned some five questions essentially that he posed to him, also reminding him of the 170 questions that he, that's Dr. Baumia, posed to the late Parkwesi Emisa Atta. And all of that, the Ghana city as well, was one of the questions, and three other currencies been reported to be the worst performing currencies in sub-Saharan Africa in 2024. This is according to the World Bank, October 2024, Africa Pulse report. Going to get to details of that right now here on your election command center. But first off, let's hear from the flag bearer of the NDC, John Mahama, who talks about the depreciation of the city, which also ties into this World Bank report that I'm going to make reference to shortly. This is what he had to say. He should go and answer the, the, the 170 questions himself. Indeed, he shouldn't answer 170 questions. He should answer only three questions. Three. Why is the exchange rate 17 cities to the dollar? Question one. Exam. He should come and write. Why has Ghana's debt risen from 120 billion to 767 billion in eight years? Question two. He should come and answer. Question three. Why is inflation where it is, why did it rise to 54%? Uh, Question four, why did you borrow 42 billion CDs from the Bank of Ghana? Well, so those were the questions that John Mahama posed to the flag bearer of the MPP, Dr. Mahmoud Obamia. The exchange rate is one of them, and I, I asked Haruna Mohammed, who is the Deputy General Secretary of the NPP, these questions. And he says that Dr. Mahmoud Obamiya would only respond to these questions if and only if John Mahama agrees to a debate with him. I spoke to him earlier on 3FM 92.7, hot edition, which is at 5 p.m. Take a look. John Mahama doesn't stop to amaze people. Um, he, if you want Dr. Baumia to respond to him, um, he should come for the debate. Dr. I... Baumia has called him to a debate. If he has questions for Dr. Baumia, he should come for the debate. Are you Dr. saying Dr. it's Baumia... only at the debate that he will respond to why the exchange rate no, is 17 cities to the he, dollar? He, he wants to ask questions. The debate is meant to ask questions. Hasn't it been done always? At the debate forum, they ask questions. Beyond him, we have been speaking to businessmen. How not? They want to find out how come the exchange rate is 17 cities to the dollar. What do you ex yeah, John, the explanation to that? John Dramani Mahama wants to be answered. I am asking him. He should come for the debate. We will respond. We have met business people. We have met industry. We have met the trade union. We have met civil society. And uh, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has explained his policy, what he wants to do when he becomes the president. He has... So that's the Deputy General Secretary of the MPP. He says the only answers they'll give is at the debate to these questions. But if you go on uh, visit any Forex Bureau, this is how the city is performing, the health of the city against the dollar. If you go to go and exchange the city, I mean, to, to get a dollar, you will get it at 17 cities. That's you buying from the Forex Bureau. If you have a dollar and you're going to exchange to get a city, that's 16 cities, 70 pesos. The pound has crossed the 20 city mark, and the euro has crossed the 17 city mark if you are going to change your euro. But if you're buying the euros, it's selling at 18 cities, 20 pesos. And this is it. Based on the, the, the rankings from the World Bank Pulse report, the Ghana city is amongst the top four worst performing currencies. The South Sudan pound lost over 60% plus against the dollar. The Ethiopian bar lost over 50, that's value. And Nigeria, Naira also lost over 40% of its value against the dollar. The Ghana city over 24% since, since the beginning of the year, January, um, till this moment. And um, 
Let's have a, a very quick conversation with Chona Makbelo um, beyond the politics of it. He is uh, a, a member, executive member of the Association of Ghana Industries, AGI. Chonam, th th this certainly m must be a, a, a big challenge for you, the depreciation of the city, correct? Unfortunately, we'll, we'll come back and, and have a quick conversation with Chonam Akpelo right after this quick break. Stay with us. Well, welcome back to Ghana Tonight. Also live on 3FM 92.7. As per the rankings on the World Bank Pulse report, uh, the Ghana City is part of the four worst performing currencies and showed you the position of the city right now against the dollar. Chonam Akpelo is an executive member of the Association of Ghana Industries, AGI. Chonam, thank you for the patience and staying up to connect with us. Uh, certainly, this depreciation of the city must be impacting on you. It's a big issue, is it not? Of course, it is a big issue, Alfred. It's an extremely big issue. The, the, the continuous depreciation of the city is gradually remaining one of the biggest reasons why a lot of our businesses may just have to pull down. Look, almost most of our companies have to import raw material from abroad because the country is not designing the system to ensure that we have adequate local production of raw materials. And so we have no option than to import them. And importation means that you have to have hard currency. You have to, you know, buy dollars, as it were, to be able to buy the raw materials. And we do this in monthly, in quarterly, and sometimes weekly. And from the beginning of the year to now, can you imagine the number of money that we have to find in order just to import raw materials and to compete with products that are mostly imported? And so we're getting to a state where it's becoming unsustainable to import raw materials. Because if you do, then you have to be able to increase the price that you sell in the market. But we're competing with other people. It's not as simple as just pushing the price to the consumer. So the, 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 the natural Ghanaian industrialist is struggling to just cope with being able to remain in business just to, to look for money, to import raw materials and, and, and produce. And if it was a situation where steps are being taken to even increase the locally sourced raw materials would have been great. But as I speak, poultry farmers have to import grains to feed their poultry. Not because we are not producing grains in the country, but because even when we produce the grains, the beans and all of that, people from abroad, Burkina Faso, Mali, who come and buy from the farm gate and send to Mali, and only resell back to us when it is now expensive. So even the internal gains, the, the homegrown uh, approaches we are, we, are we are using to agriculture and production and all of that, we're not making any gain from it. So government will use this money to subsidize by giving fertilizer to our farmers, by giving them subsidies, by giving them plant inputs and all of that for them to be able to produce so to supply to our industries. Mm. Now, after production, because it is juicy to sell to the guy from Burkina or Mali, right. the businessman, they sell all these products out of the country. Yet, the, the, the local industry cannot get the raw materials to produce. And this is the reality. And at the same time, the currency is free falling on a daily basis. So, really, you're stuck. You are unable to continue to keep in business. So how be is that the, the realities of the currency depreciation is real mm. and step must be taken. In fact, just step must be taken to really have it resolved. And rightly so. Uh, Chono Makwello, so beyond the politics, it is the businesses that are living the reality of the depreciation of the city. Thank you so much, Chono Makwello, an executive member of the Association of Ghana Industries, AGI, Thank you for joining us here on Ghana Tonight. And with this, I want to say thank you, as always, for staying with us here on Ghana Tonight. Join us same time tomorrow for another conversation. We're live on, as well, 3FM 92.7 and uh, TV3 Ghana on Facebook and DSV Channel 279 all across the world on 3news.com. I am Alfred Okonse. Have a good night.